What up, what up, what up, Crypto Warriors? It's Sergeant Crypto back at it again, here to give you a quick update on what's happening in the world of cryptocurrency. We're gonna go over the mark market real quick. Let's take a quick look at the top 20 coins or so because everything is in the green right now. It's not really gains per se, but you know, they're, they're gaining back initial losses that they took ever since Sunday. And I know a lot of you guys pr probably wishing that you bought the dips, so to speak. Everything is, is in the green, man. Everything is in the green. Everything is up looking good shoot I, I wish I had the money to buy some of my favorite coins so far so good today we'll, we'll see if it could continue but we know what happens usually over the weekends right let's go right into our first story former FDIC chair urges the Fed to consider issuing central bank digital currency now we've been hearing this tag phrase uh, central bank digital currency or a CBDC ever since around January or so so for about six months now they've been plugging this into certain media outlet planting the seed in our heads so to speak for about six months or so consistently now you know in the story they talk about issuing this uh federal currency this digital or the cbdc let me let me be correct the cbdc and i highlighted this right here she noted that uh, market volatility continues to shake confidence in the in banking systems and that's her her reasoning for wanting to issue this uh, CBDC it's not market volatility people all right it's that the banks have been doing you know their nonsense their, their bullshit for over se several hundred years now right now they're just doing this so-called quantitative easing which is just basically printing more money no one has confidence in, in them all right we, we see we see what happened in Cyprus in the past right in Greece We've seen what's taking place in Italy right now, what's happening in Venezuela. And I know, you know for my American audience, they're probably, well, that kind of shit won't happen here. Well, it, it kind of, it did happen, all right? In 2008, when everything, you know, when the banks were too big to fail, we, we bailed them out. Those bankers all received their billion dollars, million dollar bonuses at the end of the year after they got bailed out from taxpayer money and all they did was just print more money and we foot the bill for them. Don't fall for the okie doke. They tend to know that everyone is used to or getting into cryptocurrencies now. So they're trying to, you know, slide in with their own, so to speak. All right, so don't fall for the okie doke people. Good article, read it, but it's, you know, the same old bullshit that they've been up to since day one. All right. India, India, ban U-turn. All right, India, 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 sorry, Indian government panel suggests cryptocurrency regulation. So it's basically, the, the story is going about how the central banks in India, they were the one that really banned, you know, quote unquote, I'm throwing up air quotes here, uh, like you guys can see me, banned uh, cryptocurrencies because they can't control it, right? But the government really didn't, you know, a bank overturned their, their ban. I'm not a bank, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, a court, a court overturned their ban. Everybody is starting to, you know, make that U-turn. We see the same thing in China, the same thing in Russia, all right, South Korea, and even here in the States, you know, re, you know, they're, they're coming out saying one thing, dropping the prices, and then a afterwards, you know, say, hey, no, I, I think it's good. All right, that, that's market manipulation at its best. Coming out saying one thing while in the back end you're, you're collecting cryptos, and especially Bitcoin. Kind of some good news here. It bit, they got the bit license to offer several different cryptocurrencies on their platform. They only offered uh, Bitcoin only. Now they have Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Stellar. Stellar, they, they are for an XLM. That's that's a good news for the markets. All right, uh, another platform got the bit license going, and especially here in New York, where it where we're kind of stuck with only using, as far as injecting uh, fiat directly into cryptos, uh, Coinbase, Gemini, and Kraken. For some reason, can't get a Kraken account, but I have my Gemini and Coinbase, and I prefer to use Gemini because the fees are way way less on Gemini and however you know it still takes like four or five days for my money to clear which is still bullshit but you know it's uh, better than uh, paying whatever the, the fees are on Coinbase 
buying it direct some good news for for the crypto markets all right so don't watch don't worry about the prices man all right the, the prices will go up and down don't don't worry about it these guys wouldn't be getting their bit license and introducing a basket of different uh, cryptocurrencies to their customers if they didn't think this market had some place to go all right people wouldn't be investing in this market if it was going down to zero okay sometimes it's good to take a break from watching your block folio with that being said so we got some good news so last night i tweeted this out you know don't forget follow your boy let me, let me go to twitter real quick if it loads so let's follow me on the twitters that's uh, sergeant crypto 99 links in the description below but our swarm to launch new tokens representing equity in coinbase Robinhood, ripple and Didi. So new tokens represent equity in major tech companies. Basically in this story is talking about how a lot of these companies, they're, they're not represented right now on the traditional stock markets and the only way to, to invest in them is through like a VC firm or you know some you know to, through some private equity firm or something like that. However, they're stating that they have equ equity in these companies and they're going to make a token that will represent a share of these companies. You know, I tweeted it out and it's a good thing, right? Something else for us small guys to be be able to participate in this venture, especially into the companies that are involved in the crypto space. Tweeted it out or I retweeted it because I, I saw it on Twitter. And this morning, they got hit with a cease and desist from Coinbase, right? And also Ripple. So right here, Robinhood told Coindesk, in a statement that we are not aware of swarm or any such plans and have no further comment they were hit with a cease and desist from coinbase to, to stop it another way again to to stop the small guys the regular mom and pop investors the people like you and i to invest in these companies before they really blow up swarm was introducing that for us now they're trying to stop that because they they just want their big guy friends to be, be the ones to to profit. The blockchain private equity company published a blog post describing its new token project with Chief Executive Philip Piper explaining in a statement that the tokens democratize, there it is, democratize investing and allow any swarm investor to hold equity in some of today's most prominent tech startups. So what's wrong with that? I don't f find anything wrong with that. That To me that's a great thing. But they got hit with the cease and desist. In a statement, uh, a spokesperson for Swarm told Coindesk that the tokens are a are company equity either for vested options or from venture capitalists, explaining that the equity comes from approved secondary market transactions to acquire vested employee shares or from venture capitalists who have directly acquired the equity from these companies. As a private company, Coinbase does not allow trading of stock on secondary markets for a variety of reasons, including the fact that there is not full and equal information available to the market. We will take appropriate action if we find people have sold Coinbase shares in violation of our agreements not to do so, Coinbase told Coindesk in a statement. Again, just basically squeezing out regular people from trying to get involved in these tech firms. SEC squeezed out the regular people last year when too many people were making money from ICOs. China did the same thing. South Korea did the same thing. I think Singapore and all that, all right? They, they squeezed out a lot of the retail investors to quote unquote protect us. We don't need protect. I think it was Tim Draper that said in an interview that over 10,000, over 10,000 new millionaires were made last year in the year 2017 from investing in Ethereum. That's not a bad thing in my, they're just trying to squeeze out the regular folks in my eyes coming financially independent. They want us to be dependent still. That's why they're trying to put the squeeze on cryptocurrencies or in this case on swarm from allowing people to invest in these companies that they allow accredited investors but regular people can't because they're protecting us right I call bullshit speaking of ethereum 
The SEC director says Ether is not a security. So Ethereum is not a security. There it is. Another good thing. Let me see. Uh, I should have had these stories lined up properly to have all the good news at the end. However, but here it is. You know, breaking news. This just got posted recently within the last 30 to 40 minutes or so. SEC director says Ether is not a security. What that basically came down to was they can't sue a specific company they can't sue a specific person because it's decentralized welcome to the to the decentralized economy you can't sue something that's not there and even if they did try to go after say the face of their ethereum vitalik buterin he has way too much money now to to keep these guys tied up in, in the courts forever Plus, you know, Russia has his back, you know, you know, um, Putin has his back. So we, we know that wasn't going to happen. SEC, they're backing down. Ethereum is not a security. They'll probably come out and say Ripple, or I shouldn't say Ripple because Ripple is a company. They'll probably come out and say XRP is not a security within the next couple of weeks or so. They can't go after, you know, um, these people, man. They're, but we'll see. There it is. You know, you, you they can't say Ethereum is a security. What about all the airdrops, all the ERC-20 tokens that were offered as an ICO but just airdrops? Would they go after them too? They'll be tied up in courts, man, like in the courts for the next 100 years or so. You know, this is great news for the market. You know, if that, maybe that's why Ethereum jumped so much over the last uh, hour or so. There it is, up 6%, you know, over the last hour because this news came out. That is dope. You know, that's dope right there. That's great news. And last but not least, has nothing to do with cryptocurrency or blockchain. I found this on Twitter about what if New York City, the five boroughs, had a civil war. Who would win? Obviously, I'm going to choose my home borough of Brooklyn. Miami, come to tell them. Manhattan keeps on making it, Brooklyn keeps on taking it, Bronx keeps creating it, and Queens keeps on faking it. it. People couldn't come into step into Brooklyn if you ain't from Brooklyn, son. Cause that's how we roll. <laughs> Alright, but um, you know, Brooklyn keeps on taking it. Even the Bronx head said that. Alright, Brooklyn keeps on taking it. So there it is. Brooklyn keeps on taking it. I'ma say Brooklyn would win in this so-called five borough city civil war if it were to happen all right manhattan wasn't gonna win shit maybe the bronx because you know the you know the, the bronx they they, they they gets down all right they gets busy in the bronx yeah that's it staten island yeah whatever queens yeah whatever forget that brooklyn is where it's at <laughs> let's talk some trash over here i retweeted this um it's pretty funny and shit quick quick read I'll link this in the bottom in the description as well all right so don't forget to smash that like this is a pretty long video I'm gonna I'm edit the shit out of this and um, thanks for watching don't forget to smash that like hit that subscribe and notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos thanks for watching again thanks for all the support it's been your boy Soldier Crypto and I'm out